Hey, this is Larissa from NC Calvary Kids, and we're here with the guys from All More Tool and Place. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. Good. <laughs> so tell us um, who you are and what you do in the band. I'm Justin. I play bass. I'm Matt. I play drums. I'm Kramer. I scream my heart out. And the two invisible guys behind us play guitar. Okay, on more to Olympus, what is the origin of your name, and what does it mean to you? Um, we found it on some uh, Bible software one night, and we found uh, Olympus with uh, spelled with an A, and uh, it means uh, heaven. And then we added the uh, onward to on it, and you know, onward to heaven is what we came up with. Onward to Olympus. So. Kind of yeah. How long have you guys known each other? Uh, Justin and I met about four and a half, five years ago at a Thanksgiving uh, party where he was in another band and their drummer had quit and he found that I found out that I played drums so he invited me to come play or come try out and uh, which that band didn't work out so we started this and uh, Kramer we've known him for couple years because he played in a band that we used to play with all the time and, and we all met up yep. and became love great right. I mean. great coolness <laughs> that <what> I mean. <laughs> okay so some some people might not realize that you're a Christian band um what made you decide to be an open Christian band because we're cool <laughs> why <don't> we <laughs> Christianity has always been a pretty important part in our lives and originally we started out as a Christian band and kind of got away from that because of a few members that were in the band before. And now that they departed uh, last year, like we just decided that, that that's the road we wanted to go back down. And so, you know, we plan on staying on that road. We, put, we don't plan on leaving it again it's just because yeah, it's, it's very important to us. Have you guys ever been trialed for being a hardcore Christian band? Yeah, yeah, we we get it a good bit. I think when everybody asks me, why do you sound like Satan? Yeah, yeah. devil music for devil. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Right. So what and who are some of your influences? Collectively, I'd say It Dies Today, Misery Signal, Unearth, Beloved, um... But individually, like, it, it branches out, you know. Okay, so what message do you want to deliver through your music? And in your music, do you believe that you're delivering God's Word? Um, I'd say a common theme throughout our our music is um, redemption and struggles that everyone deals with every day and, and how, as as individuals, we get through it and you know, we stand we stand our ground on on the things that we believe and and how we how we deal with those and you know our our lyrics are very blatantly we say what we mean and you know we we don't hide that fact and it, it, we 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 hope that kids get that when they see us live and you know the things that we say and the way that we that we treat people and the way that we act we feel like you know we're we're really reaching people. I'd say. Also, honesty would be a big one. Mm. A message of honesty is like we don't want to paint a picture that that isn't there. We want kids to know that you know we're just like them. That we make mistakes, we screw up, but you know we have Christ there to catch us when we fall. And that's that's the big difference. You know, because we're all the same. We're all sinners. We all make mistakes. It's very straightforward. So can you briefly describe um, your music making making process? Who writes your music and the main themes and focus of your song? And tell us how your songs become the songs that you want to perform. We all bring material to the table and just kind of mesh it together. Like, nobody writes just one song and then we all learn it. Like, we all just, like, just come up with different stuff and just stick it together, you know, with, with whatever works and whatever doesn't we obviously don't do or try not to anyway. Some of the lyrics to it. Yeah. Some of the lyrical genius. He just yells. I don't say words. He yells obscenity. I don't know why. <laughs> so how has your music evolved since you guys have been playing together? Um. Heavy. Yeah. It, it, when when we brought in, when Justin and Andrew and, and 
Kramer joined uh, a year ago. Um, before we were kind of more of a rhythm base, a rhythm base, you know, melodic. just melodic, hardcore type thing. And when they came in, it just we just decided to go full on, just go metal, you know, play as fast and heavy as we wanted to be. Drop the tuning, and we're definitely a little more guitar oriented. Yeah, and we definitely have added the singing aspect to that. I mean, we haven't really changed. The style really hasn't changed all that drastically, but but it's changed enough to notice. We just made everything better. Yeah. So Kramer, how do you keep your voice from straining? Because you scream so much, and how do you keep that? Well, a lot of it has to do with being the best in the world. <laughs> but it took years of practice. Like when I was 14, I did it, and I just didn't really get serious until I was like. 16, we did it like for three years, and just pushed myself, and it was practice and practice, and now it's like, no problem. And the zen of screaming, get that I never DVD. Wa- I never watched it though. You said you did, you liar. Yeah, I know, Melissa Cross didn't teach me nothing, I thought it did myself. Oh. <laughs> um, as a band, um, what has been your biggest challenge to overcome, and how have you overcome that situation? Basically, getting it off the ground. Yeah. Just having people that weren't as dedicated as as we were hoping to be and just dealing with, I'm leaving and I'm coming back and I'm leaving and I'm coming back. and you know. Like, every six months, like, somebody was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. So, but now we have a solid lineup and everyone's in it and everyone's sticking around and, and you know. Yeah, in it to win it, you know, and every and since then everything's really started to take off. And, yeah. So, what is your ultimate goal for the band? Where do you see your guys yourself in about five years? I mean, ruling the world, pretty much, you know, <laughs> touring, making sales, leading people to Christ. Most importantly, leading people to Christ, giving the right for so, uh, Basically, being able to do it for a living. You know, I mean, this is what we love. This is what we've basically given our lives to, you know, ever I mean, it, we didn't just start doing this overnight. It's something we've progressed to, it's something that we've been working at all of us have been working at for a long time and you know, so hopefully it pays off. I think it will. Yeah. I think it will. Those were cool. Um, well how would you guys like to leave your mark on the music world? Um be in people's heads all the time. That would be sweet. Mm-hmm. It'd be sweet 20 years down down the road. I don't know that I want to the stand heads. They're okay. <laughs> it's okay, no. It's okay. Nothing special. I liked one song, but then they sold out. <laughs> That'd be cool. What's the biggest show that you've ever played? Um, It was uh, a few weeks ago. We played Scream the Prayer in Raleigh, and um, we went on probably 20 minutes after the doors opened, and you know, there were well over 400 people in there at that point. I mean, there were 900 nine that entire night. Yeah, but there was, at, le- yeah, there was yeah. at least, it had to be at least five. In yeah, the it, was, place. it was pretty huge. Five people. Five, five, five people. If you guys could describe yourself in one word as a band, what would the word be? Radical. <laughs> Retarded. Awesome. <laughs> we just think we're awesome, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What song do you guys find yourself singing in the shower all the time? Taylor Swift. <laughs> Probably freaking... I like um, Hannah Montana. <laughs> What's that song? I just... Was, I sneak out in the garden. <laughs> you know? I love it. Oh, yeah, the uh, Romeo and Juliet yeah. one? Yeah. 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 Romeo, take me so we can be alone. That sounds totally gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet song, though. I love it. Yeah. I think we should cover it. That's probably already been Maybe, done. Maybe, um, yeah, ABD. Yeah. The Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Yeah. 